we're taking a look at Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I've been curious about these cards even before they were released since they're supposed to answer yes or no questions, unlike the majority of other decks out there which, for the most part, deliver inspiration. Now, before we continue, I invite you to stay for the special channeled segment which is my thank you to you for tuning in. Someone's going to get a special message and it could be you. Anyhow, if you're ready, let's proceed with our Angel Answers review. Welcome back! So let's get right to it. Now we have the card box right in front of us and it's pretty sturdy as this is a Hay House publication, so it's packaged just like Doreen's other decks. And for those of you who are very particular about your packaging, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's got this orangey-yellow lining. So this is Doreen and Radley's first Oracle card deck together. They've collaborated on three tarot decks so far, the Angel Tarot, Archangel Power Tarot, and the Guardian Angel one. I've done a review on all of these, so take a look at the links in the description if you're wondering about any of these other cards. As for the guidebook, it has 92 pages, not counting the extra information about the authors and the artist at the end. It begins with an intro and a section on clearing your oracle deck before you use it, which you will be familiar with if you have several of Doreen's other decks. There aren't any spreads included, but there are suggestions on how to use the cards. And then the book moves on with the card meanings. There are two pages or a page and a half for each card, though some of them have just one page. There's a black and white picture of each card included in this section, so if you like taking your guidebooks with you on the go to study without the actual cards, that's a pretty helpful touch. Here's a closer look at the card back, which actually shares the image of one of the cards. Listen to your intuition. And then, the edges of the cards are gold. I really like card edges like this. Silver is my personal favorite, but gold is really pretty as well. And before we move on to what's on the front of the cards, I also want to say that card stock is pretty standard for Hay House. The cards are on the thicker side. So each of these cards has the artwork right in the middle, and then they all share that same golden border. The card title is underneath, and these cards don't have any affirmations like some other oracle card decks do. Now, the difference with the borders on these cards is there is a curtain behind, so some of the cards have a gold curtain, and then the others have purple, others have violet, Others have blue, and others have teal. For the actual yes and no cards, there are four. One no, with no exclamation point, another with, and it's the same with the yes cards. The difference being, there's more of a stress on those with the exclamation points where the message is stronger or more emphatic somehow. You might want to separate these from the rest of the deck if all you want is a yes or no answer since a lot of the other cards have absolutely nothing to do with yes or no questions, so the answers that come up could appear quite muddled or even straight up inaccurate if you pulled from the entire deck for a yes or no question. And speaking of which, there are some cards as well that specifically address timing, so you might want to pull these from the rest of the deck and use only those if what you're asking about involves time. And for the concept of separating the cards rather than using the entire deck for certain questions, credit goes to Radley himself. This should help anyone who's feeling iffy about the cards after you got them because the ones you pull don't match your questions at all. As for the rest of the cards, they have inspiring titles as can be expected for those of you already familiar with oracle cards. Let me show you some of my favorites. 
I find the colors very pretty and the artwork itself is attractive to me. In my personal opinion though, I'm not the biggest fan of the overexposed effect where we almost can't see some of the faces, but who knows, maybe the purpose behind it is to give the cards a more ethereal vibe. And that's it for our look at the Angel Answers Oracle cards. I hope this was helpful to those of you out there who were thinking of getting it or were maybe on the fence because you'd heard it didn't really help with a yes or no questions as it's expected to. Hopefully, the little suggestions given were useful. Hi again, angels! Welcome to our bonus channeled segment. You don't have to stay if you came here specifically to take a look at the Angel Answers cards, but this is my thank you to those of you who tuned in who enjoy receiving helpful and uplifting inspiration. If this is your first time seeing this segment, what we do is we listen for messages from our angels, guides, and friends of the light and spirit whom we thank for being here with us. What comes through could be for several people, but it's not going to be for everybody, so subscribe and tune in to our future videos in case there are some words of inspiration you can specifically relate to. Let's get started. For today's session, I feel compelled to address you, who've been in a pattern of doing work you don't exactly love, and it's been many years now. You've told yourself several times in the past that it was the last year you were doing it or the last time you would accept certain responsibilities because they quite possibly clashed with what you felt was the right thing to do, but then repeatedly something would come up to keep you from moving on or you'd find yourself too exhausted to feel any enthusiasm for what you'd much rather be doing. Add to that the responsibilities on your plate with Others who genuinely need you, relying on you, such as maybe kids or elderly parents and loved ones, and you love them too much to let them down, so you've felt stuck in this cycle for a long time now. What I am hearing to pass on to you is not to give up. Hold on to your dreams and your passions because it's just a matter of divine timing. Sometimes we agree to fulfill certain tasks or help certain people out on a soul level, even before birth, because there are gifts and lessons there for both parties, and it's quite possible that in the past, the people that we're helping now are those who were helping us in other lifetimes. And this won't go on forever. When the lessons here have been learned and soul contracts have been fulfilled, we find new doors opening for us. So hang in there and look for what is beautiful in your current reality, despite the challenges that you may attract more and more of these blessings to you. Thank you. That's it for our channeled segment. I wish you well and send you love. If you didn't get a message this time, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you so much for joining me for this video, angels. Some of you have been with me on this channel since the beginning, others have stumbled upon the videos more recently, but to all of you, I appreciate you. I send my heartfelt gratitude. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with others whom you know will benefit. I'll speak with you again soon. Namaste.